Looks like there's tons of stablecoin sitting on the sidelines. We looked at some of the market caps and a lot. This is a uh, we're up 20x from previous markets when it comes to these accounts. And I'm looking at some of these uh, the amounts went from seven billion to 147 billion. Let me just say that one more time: seven billion to 147 billion, and that's just from April 2020. Think about that. That is the market cap of stablecoins. So we're seeing a huge, huge increase. Uh, and then this is at the same time, our the total index of crypto has fallen from 3 trillion. I think we just looked at around roughly 950 million. So Mac, there's this huge divide. Prices are low. I mean, Bitcoin is, is barely above the 2017 highs. And we have over 20x the stablecoins sitting on the sideline. Do you feel that maybe tether dominance is going to be a new what, what are your thoughts on people start tracking tether dominance for market sentiment is is would you consider that a, a good metric a, a good data point to use it's it's definitely worth like looking at for sure and i think it's it's very important to consider the importance of stable coins in the crypto ecosystem especially as we want to surpass the three trillion dollar market cap over time and that's that if there isn't a uh, truly stable stablecoin, right? If you go to Terra Luna, right? We, it, the the stablecoin wasn't very stable. But the second people lose confidence in the stablecoin ecosystem means that they're likely to take their money out of the crypto ecosystem, bring it to an exchange, cash out, and bring it into a traditional fiat currency. The second that money leaves the crypto ecosystem, it may never come back. So... Having a stable coin that people can trust is so, so critical because a lot of people in crypto, they just keep their money in crypto. They keep it in this ecosystem. And the main reason that happens is because of things like Tether, because of USDC, because of these stable coins that exist. So moving out of your crypto assets, bringing it into the stable coin is something that the crypto natives need so that they can keep their money in this, especially businesses, especially people who are actually using capital from an operational standpoint. So I think it's something worth keeping an eye on in relation to the total market cap, right? So if the total market cap of crypto um, is dropping and that's increasing, it it's probably an indication that, okay, people want to go to the quote unquote safe haven in the crypto ecosystem, which is stable coins. But I think it's a lot like uh, maybe Bitcoin dominance, kind of an, uh, a derivative of that. So it's definitely worth keeping an eye on, but I'm not surprised by the the massive increase from seven to 130, I believe you said. This is something 147, that like, yeah. we really it, it need. It jumped 140.